This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Oh, Crystal Jordan. Be honest. Kevin Davis. We are music love life. Was that yawn because we took uh, a week off? You've been asleep the whole time? Yeah, I'm well rested. It's Labor Day. Uh, Weekend. It's a, holiday. it's a real. I ain't doing shit. Uh, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> okay. Doing absolutely nothing. So you run out of stuff. Is that what you're saying? Um, Is that what you're telling us? You run I'm, out of stuff for the I'm intro? I'm worthless. I swear to <laughs> God. No, I think he was actually trying to like have like a play on the, the, the holiday. Oh, I thought he was trying to keep it lively. Because yeah. you know, sometimes when you, when you do long. <laughs> On on air things, you have to keep it lively by making jokes and stuff. There was it was no joke. I was oh. I was chilling. Okay, what's up, y'all? Hey, haven't seen y'all in a while. Yeah. I know we. Missed, I know, man. We missed a week. Everybody, look, y'all look younger. You got a new hat? I like that. No, it's not a new hat. It's, it's old. It's covering up oh. your your hairdo. <laughs> hairdo. Are you, are you having a bad hair day? No, actually, what happened was I was working outside today. I got real sweaty. I just took a shower, so I didn't, you know, just threw a hat on. You didn't get a chance to gel it down or anything? You don't You don't gel down braids. What do you do? What do you do to them? Nothing. Do you bring out your baby hair? You have like a special brush or something? No. I think you bring out your baby hair because I had braids a couple weeks I ago. I don't have br- any baby I, hair. I, I'll, I'll show you. I have no baby hair. See, there's no baby hair there. Well, you probably need, that's probably why you have the hat on. Why? Because baby Because they're not, you haven't well, brushed who, them out. Yeah, but nobody does that. The guys don't do that. Oh, I was like, people do do that. Yeah, women do because y'all, you need as much edges as y'all can get sometimes. Edges are good to have. But sometimes you have to pretend they're edges. Well, I don't have By problem. brushing out the baby hairs. No, 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 that doesn't work though. That doesn't work. I hope men don't start worrying about their edges. I mean, I'm afraid oh, of the future. Oh, they can't because they're usually gone. <laughs> That was no. a shot at you. Yeah, man. No, it's, what's no. I'm just saying? No, a lot nah, of guys, are, they lose their hair, and that's where it starts. The cow lick starts, it's, that's the edges. So guys are making fun of us for losing our edges, but you guys lost your edges a long time ago. Dudes, yeah, the hairline. Yeah, the cow licks. That right no. here. That's not where the cow lick is. I say, look, man. The cow lick is that little area right in there. Yes, it not is. The cow lick is where your hair, like, it sits yeah, up. I thought you can't, yeah. was back here. You can't like, do anything where the hair swirls. That's like alfalfa. 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 You're, you're wrong. It's okay though. It's yeah. not. That's, it is. But that, you guys are saying two different things. We're though. not. It's it, the same place where your hair, the, where the circle is, or the spiral. In your, right. It, no. Yeah. The fingerprint on your head. That, it, it sticks mm-hmm. up. That's a cow. So what is this thing called when it goes back really Receding far? Receding hairline. No, there's a name for it too. No. Viewers, <laughs> That's what they've been talking about on LeBron James is the hairline. Everybody's the it's, hairline. Well, I know yes. it's hairline, but it's a certain there, there's a word for it when it's like back in these corners. It's not the it's not this part. Oh, when they got that Sherman Hemsley, yeah, the little peninsula. The, it goes back in the it goes back right here first. And you have this. Yeah, it's not. A, that's called just, that's just. What it's called is time to go bald. Yeah. That's that what it is. Like time to shave that shit off. Yeah, well, women should start cutting it off too. I don't think we should cut ours off. Just just fake it? Like, what do you got to do? What should you I do? I mean, we're fine. We're not having trouble like I've that. seen in the... I mean, what is it? Safari and Tiger? They got, like, they, whole processes now. They, man, no, all that, all that damn Beijing shoe polish. If no, 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 no. The, there's man. a hair club for men where they can actually recreate a hairline. Yeah, it's like real creation of hair. It's not yeah. It's not fake hair. It's not... It, it, ain't, it, it ain't hair plugs. No, they take it from your hair in the back. They bring it to the front. I don't think so. I think there's something else. Mm-hmm. I think it, okay. There are some that do that because I I've, I know I know that's old school. They have a new process now where you can actually regrow your hair in those areas. Yeah, but they have to take the follicles and reinsert. They have to create new follicles though, because a lot of times those follicles are dead, mm. and they they take them from from you. I'm gonna just eat vegetables. I'll, somehow, I'll, that's not gonna help your hair though. Yeah, yeah not at all. It's just gonna make your shit is gone will, if you're not willing to spend that shea that, butter. It's no, not gonna do no, anything. No. Yeah. no. I don't care if it's the pure, natural, like, yeah, it does, that doesn't And you think bottles. all the needles in your head is going... Mm, yes, we have well, proven they do it. it. Safari I mean, and Tiger. Yeah. It's Tiger, I would never have even known. They was just talking about Safari on, on Love & Hip Hop because he, didn't finish paying. he had an inch of that uh, Beijing on there. He didn't finish paying. Well, Tiger's <laughs> looks very real. He had, I didn't he even had know. installments. <laughs> yeah. All the white celebrities who lose their hair in Hollywood have been doing it for years and nobody said anything and you could That's never know. their hair is easier to do that. I don't know about that. You never knew, though. I think it is. Never I think cared. it's easier to do. How about care? No, because on those hair club for men commercials, lots of guys never care. Seen. Kevin, you may be How you may care? you may be okay with your hairline, but there are a lot of guys who are not okay That's with it. So true. it's not fair for you to, yeah. to say like, "Oh, I don't care about that," because there are guys who really like have a problem. Well, there with are it. not not every guy looks good with a bald head, and so if you can 
go bald and be okay, then kudos to you. But there is a large population of guys that are holding on <laughs> to their hairline and their hairline is forsaken them and they know that they probably won't look See, good with the bald. That's the saddest forsaken. thing, though. When, when a man is scared to go bald and he's trying to hold on well, to them last few strands, it, though. I'm not okay with sad. this. Nah, man, let it go. I'm Trust not, me. I'm just, not okay just, with any of this talk. Look, if, fellas, if you out there and you, you starting to thin right here in the corners, just go ahead, take the leap. Beat beat baldness to the punch. Go ahead and shave I your head. I agree that you should do that. Let However, sun get on not it. everybody looks good with a bald head. Hold so, on. what do you suggest for those guys that would look horrible with a bald head? What do you mean they look horrible with a bald head? Not everybody they, looks good with a bald head. Well, hey, look, you got the head that you you got to embrace what you got. So, oh. if you got a lumpy head. Then just shave around the lumps. So like, that's, just that's don't what we're doing? cut yourself on the corner. What if they have like the hot dog pack in the back? We embracing what we got now. You agree with that too? Why I not? Didn't say that. I didn't say it at all. Why not? Well, I, I want everybody. To Less is him. more. Women Less too. is more. Women, it's if you've been a chicken head, on hold back. on. Women, if you've been a chicken head your whole life, if your ponytail <laughs> isn't but uh, the last digit on your pinky when you get inside the little uh, scrunchie, <laughs> if the scrunchie is, is as big as your ponytail, it look like a Rottweiler. That little bitty <laughs> the nub. Then you need you shake like this. to just go bald headed. That Eric, is foolishness. Grace Jones rocked the ball head. That's foolishness because hey. there's all types of luxurious weave. Chanel Lathan rocked the ball head for the movie. Hey. There's yeah. all types of luxurious weave. No, I actually no, have keep, one no. on today that you can Be get. Authentic. Women don't have to do that. Stop taking your, your middle section and putting it in your hind part section. <laughs> Stop doing that. Just, <laughs> just, section. Just, just be who you are. If you ain't got no part. ass and you got a big ass gut, just rock that big ass gut. I do think that you should do what you want because at the end of the day, guys don't really care. I think... Hey, there's, yeah. a, there's a flat butt girl you, you, you walking around that still, getting, still getting sex, just like a, a big, big Well, butter. I don't know, though. Yes, she is. No, nah, I don't know. Yes, she is. I Little swear, booties matter. I've never seen a girl with a... I, that I, nobody I know, no girl I know cannot have sex. Like, every girl can get sex. Every girl you know gets sex. Every girl. I, okay. And then one of my girlfriends told me this a long time ago, because I was, like, super nervous about dating after, you know, not dating for a long time. And I was like, oh, I've gained some weight. I don't know. And she's like, guys don't care about weight. Show me one fat girl. We do girl care that about weight. The other kind that, of weight that doesn't though. have. Uh, that doesn't. It's not getting sex. W like, a i t. We hate. We care about that weight. Maybe, but I mean, that's not gonna. That's not contingent upon your body weight. Right. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah, but you know. So mm. take your. Just keep your. I mean, just but work with what you if, got. If you ain't got much, just know that your level of guy. Come on, stop being. Stop, oh, stop that's being. That's not nice. Stop being out here talking about you trying to get that. you a Denzel. You not getting a Denzel. Well, nobody said that, but I mean, Denzel is already uh, spoken for. I'm just saying by the amazing Miss uh, Paulette Washington. We give all due Who? respect to Mr. Denzel. What I'm, what I'm saying is there are not very many of those walking around. There are lots of levels below Denzel. You also do not qualify for it. That's if, not true. It's very. I true. think you can get anyone you want if you. Want to, if you just put the energy into that's it. Not, that's you know, not, not realistic. For sex. Now, I'm not saying for relationships because they're they're a little tricky on that. No, nah, that's still not put true. Put the energy sex? in. Yeah, you uh, can. That's a slippery slope I guarantee slope there. you. So you're saying that you have never had sex with a girl that you're not attracted, that you're not any, any, any what, any... That you're not attracted to at all. Yes, but not consistently. She's not going to get consistent dick. Well, it could be different people. It doesn't have to be the same guy. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. That that plan is not going to work for you, young lady. <laughs> if your body is, if you got a bad body, and I'm not talking about bad like a badass bitch body, but a bad body, <laughs> like, like SpongeBob bad. Mm. Did you see? Okay, Lil Duval. This is funny, and I'm not laughing because I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm with you. She all. said I'm not laughing. But, I'm not laughing, but it's just he's stupid. He said that why do women built like wallets? Keep talking, <laughs> and then these girls start going back and forth. And in he in his post, he says, "I'm not going back and forth with you, uh, with you wallet built bitches." Like right. it was just hilarious. He's stupid. I don't know what the problem is. No, he's but- not stupid. He's telling the truth. Like you have to understand that your level of guy that you're going to be able to get. <laughs> It's well, gonna be say someone's built meow, like a wild coming down. But you know what? All the I bad bitches, all the bad bitches are actually in competition. It's a war against the wallet built bitches and the cute and 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 like shapely ones. I don't it know is what he's talking about. because all the wallet built bitches is the ones that's that's going to HR and talking about your outfit is inappropriate. I don't think that's they, true. Uh, yes, I guarantee you. Any if there's any cute, attractive women out there no. that have gotten uh, had to go to HR and talk about your outfit, send I guarantee a, you. I'm saying it send was us a wallet. A, I was gonna say send us a wasn't dude. no dude. Okay, I'm sorry. I got a I got a quote, Lil Duval. He says, "Ladies, if you know you're shaped like a box of Newports, stop wearing shit that's form fitting." And then later he says, "I'm not going back and forth with you wallet shaped bitches. <laughs> I'm not doing it." You already say you're not going back and forth with you bitches. <laughs> I agree. But why I'm living my best life. Yeah, 
Why a pack of Newports? Because it's square yeah, and it's thick. Thick and square. Sleeping on thick and square. A mm-hmm. If your Great. ankles match your thighs, mm-mm, you're not going to get a good dude. Sorry. Damn. You're going to get you a dude that's kind of like that with ankles that match their thighs. And you got, you got to be okay with that. Don't be out here telling. Well, first of niggas. all, I can throw a kink in that because there are, are there are women that fit the ideal standard of beauty that have guys that ankles match stand their by, thighs. Stand by, Kevin. Why is that? Because they have a lot of money. Uh, who? Which one? The guy. The guy. Right. Yeah, that's so that's because y'all are y'all are. So I'm saying that that, that you're into work. superfluous you things. You can't get a guy that looks like you. No, 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 no. I wasn't happen. talking to my dudes. I was talking to the fellas because we it's different rules. But for you us. just said the woman that is that has cankles, she should just be okay with dating a guy that has cankles. Right. But it, not, it, it, not no. Quite that way. No, it doesn't work the other way around. Dudes don't have to deal with that shit. If a dude got cankles, he ain't got to deal with a woman with cankles. Well, a girl with cankles, if that if that's the case, she wouldn't be able to get anybody because the guys with cankles gonna get some money. Only if he has a, only if he has money. Yeah, but usually There's lots guys of broke ass cankle dudes. Are there? Yeah. I never run into mm, them. Yeah. What? I, ne- I don't ever see them. They never speak to me. The broke canko dudes don't speak to you because they know their place. No. Dudes, we know our place. But you know what? I don't believe that because I was talking to a girlfriend of mine. Guys are very, very, uh, they shoot their shot. They, they are very, very confident people. We are. Yeah. Absolutely. Most of us are. I mean, just ridiculously so. Okay, but yeah. most of the time You're it's not going to pull nobody thinking less of yourself. It's a brick though. Most but of sometimes time you got to know. Women, this, this ain't right. women need to know. Guys don't have to. It's different for us. We don't have to hit on anybody. They all come to us. Mm, you got kangles. You might have to hit on somebody. I don't think so. I don't even know what kangles are. Women yeah. shoot their shot all the time. You don't have an ankle. Women shoot their shot all the time. You don't have an ankle. You don't have ankles. It's you have just like the a... same size as your calf. Yeah. Okay, I've seen that before. But what I'm saying is, there are women who are not attractive enough to be hit on. That's I don't true. believe that. I don't. I, agree. I don't believe. Can mm-hmm. listen, I would love for you. I don't believe that. I think that every woman gets hit on. Now that the the number of times you get hit on may be lesser or higher, but I think every woman because guy, girls are not running up and jumping on guys at the club. Guys are looking around. Yeah, they are. Two o'clock in the morning, then they they pick the one that's that's less attractive. Oh no, nah, they jumping up on really? the guy. They yeah. jumping up. What are they the doing? They jumping they, on yeah, him. Mm-hmm. Well, not all me because I don't. First of all, I'm not in the club. Second right, of all, I'm not approachable. Were, when you when you were you were girls were jumping on you. I've never been approachable. I've always been in a relationship or married. But pretty girls much. don't know that. Well, but yeah, but there's. There still is a, a way that you let people, you give off a signal that, hey, come jump on me. Right. I agree. Right. I, I agree. don't give off that signal ever. So all you cheating guys, BS. We know that you're giving off no, no. signals. You got to give women a, a woman is not going to just take that exactly. shot and you're not giving. Yeah. Yeah. That's just not the way it yeah, works. So somebody, yeah. She might say something to you. Somebody's giving, giving those girls that are quote unquote less attractive a sign Yeah. You're throwing the vibe. Yeah. yeah definitely. He's coming hither. Hey, you know what? Be full of shit though, because you know good and damn well, <laughs> good and damn well that when women see that wedding ring. Mm-hmm. Yo, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't think that's true. No, I think that's women, BS. women, single women love married men. How Maybe. do you know that? They you love them. Have you been yes. married, Crystal? I don't yes. know. Have you been because, married? Because <laughs> because women see a man that's married and say, oh, he takes care of somebody, or somebody wanted him. He takes care of somebody. He's at a certain level, and so I want that guy. Even that if man, I got to okay, tear the him away from the woman. Kevin constantly tells me what women think. That was in a movie. I, I, think. I just have like breasts for no it reason. It happens, but that's not why it happens. Women don't tell me why it happens. I will tell you if you will let me talk. So, first of all, <laughs> what happens is a wa- a man who is married a lot of times will hit on a woman that is that is not married. So, when a man is hitting on a woman that's not married, and a lot of times guys have a sob story about how they're so unhappy at oh, home. Oh, there we go. And they are the woman's not looking out for them. A lot of times it's not even an obvious hit. It's a round the way hit. Like, right. you know, you're such a nice, you know, you're you're a beautiful woman. I you know, I I can't, but I but I sure do hope someone's appreciating you. Wow. And then you start calm Conversating, and then he tells you how his woman is not appreciating him. Guys don't rarely are there guys bold enough to just be married and hit on a girl that's not. And I don't think that women, at least I, and I know girls that are sleeping with married men. I do. I know a lot of them. So I'm being honest about that. But I don't know any of them that approach the guy. It's not like girls are just like, let me find a married man so I can go and get like that's dumb as hell. Well, women married men hit on women mm. and then they act like they're so unhappy and they're being taken advantage of and I just can't get out, but I just, you know, and then he builds a friendship and then the next thing and, you know, he's And that woman just happens to be a shoulder to cry on. Yeah, and, vi- and vi- mm. just like you guys do, it's vice well, versa, but it's not, I don't think people are are specifically targeting Married man, I think that's a great narrative for guys to share yeah. to make women I think feel it's like. Bullshit. Yeah, it is. I can, bullshit. I can break three stereotypes. I've been to the park. Well, okay, okay. One time I was riding in my car and I had my dog with me, and a girl 
hit on me. Okay. But there, and I was giving her no vibes. But that's one out of many, many ones. Okay. I've and walked, your movie star handsome. So I mean, and I was in a, a two seater drop top. So oh, it's like you know. Oh my god. So you, you're you know just what I'm saying? Breaking like, all the streets. It was like it was it was destined to be for her. Yeah. Not for me. Oh for man. And you had a dog with you. What? She, she, isn't that like the wedding her, crasher? Like she had handbook. To shoot her shot. But listen though, honestly, except for that one time. Right. Mm-hmm. I can walk my dog in the park. I can have my baby with me. Yeah. I have my wedding ring on. Women, but I'm not approachable. I'm right. not looking at women in their eyes as they pass by me and say, yeah. hey, how you doing? And smiling. I'm not doing that shit. So there is something that you can do to be more approachable. Thank you for acknowledging that because all these married guys act like, I don't know why she hit on me. Maybe because you're in her inbox. Maybe because you're <laughs> constantly complimenting her. Maybe because you're asking her, can you guys just be Friends. What like, are you talking about with this woman at work? If you're talking oh to her about God. work shit, then I get it. But if you're talking to her about personal shit, Every maybe that's ma- why. Married guys, I would, and this is, I, look, uh, probably about 85 to 90% of married guys will definitely take some sex on the side from a chick. If, if, so if women were actually targeting y'all, nobody would be married because the, it would, you, men can't outrun Kitty cat. Y'all Not just true. can't. Not well, true. can't outrun it. What? Not true. It's just gets, it gets faster and faster. You can't do it. Not so true. I'm saying the married men are hitting on women. Most women are overweight, so I can always get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I cannot. Uh, I cannot. <laughs> Most women are overweight uh, and, not, and not in shape. Because what do y'all do? Y'all go to the gym, but y'all don't really be at the gym, gym. I be at the gym. I work out. They're not. <laughs> oh my God. I've seen a lot of women fall at the end fast. and track me. You go to women track me, they like run. run at the end, they just almost making it fall and cut their knees and thighs Even when up. I was and, like working out every day. I, I just never ran very fast. But you know what? Women <laughs> shoot their shot a little differently. Like guys will just come straight up to you yeah, and that's start what to try hunters. to have a conversation. You're a hunter. You should hunt. Right? But women start to put themselves in position. Where you see them And then you supposed to go after Exactly Like, like the oh, deer Oh Never like in church yeah. Oh lord Uh-oh. Them <laughs> girls go straight to the front And be sitting there With them short skirts on And be sitting there With the legs a little open So, so the pastor every... sitting up there And he no. Ooh yes Yes lord And you sitting there Like mm-hmm, Like you Holier okay, than thou okay. I, I just And I'm not I just want the viewers to know I'm not giving Kevin a hard time. Kevin just says stuff yeah, that causes me to have to respond to, and I don't uh-huh. even want to. Uh-huh. But I, I am. Buckle a, up. I have been to. Ch- I, I've. I, I attend church you and I've been given a drop cloth before. I was not trying to entice the pastor at all. Mm-hmm. At all. Did, 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 I just like to look nice. Did the nice. church mothers and, look and at you funny? I don't care if they did, but it wasn't a short skirt. But if you are if you have um, thighs of a, a, a certain percentage of thickness, as I do, when you sit down with a skirt on, the skirt rises. It's not my fault. I can't help it. That's just how I was made. So the, I was brought a drop cloth, but I'm not trying to entice the pastor or anybody else necessarily. How, was the person, how did the person look who brought you the drop cloth? Was it a girl or was it, it a man or woman? It was an usher. Man or woman? It was, I don't even remember. I, I was, it was a white glove. It was a white, white glove, glove. Yeah. yeah. And I felt ashamed. I felt a sense of shame when she dropped it off. Like, I, I think a woman it. did before. Not, maybe a man too, but I did feel a sense oh, of shame. Is, like they didn't even say lying. nothing to you. Like they, they just, thought I was being fast or something. Like, and I, I, was, I, I really was upset. Like I'm not even doing... Like my skirt is like... Mid calf, it just rolls. Did you cover up? up? I did. I put it. I did. I did. I did. (laughs) I felt. I felt a sense of shame. That's so messed up that 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 people can make us feel that way. (sighs) Yeah, that's messed up. Got to protect the sanctity of the church. He, anyway. he threw you off. You came in bubbly today. I was because I went to the lake and I was feeling good. I had I had a very interesting time at the lake. It's Labor Day weekend. And I went to the lake by myself to write. You went dressed like that to the lake? No. That's, oh, okay. I changed when I got here. Okay. I went to the lake by myself to write, some, working on a project, and there were no <laughs> African Americans at the lake. Why would there be? Black people don't like water? I didn't know that. I were, like water. Were there any barbecue grills? No. There were no grills. And I come to think of it, there were no grills. That's why. No grills There were at the only lake. whats. And I like the whats. Which I lake? Don't have a lake Altoona? Chattahoo- Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee. Mm-hmm. So... But the interesting thing was I was so I was looking to get to, I parked. That's I was, a river, by the way. But go ahead. It's it, it is it is a river. You're yeah. right. It is it is a river. So I, I just was trying to get to water because right. I needed to write. Man, so I no I went. It's a difference. It is a difference. But and it looked that Dirty. actually works against my plight. But so I parked and I was trying to find how to get to the water and then and there were no sidewalks. So I started following a group a random group of white people. <laughs> They walked through the trees 
like the animals do. Like, I was like, whoa, there's no sidewalk. So I, I'm following them. And then as the brush got very heavy and, and it just got very, very, very wild and untouched, I was like, yeah, this may not be a good idea because they were ahead of me and there was like noises and stuff. So I scurried back up to my car and then I waited for another group of white people and I followed them and I went down to the to the dock and I sat there. There were probably about 10 groups of 10 families that came with their rafts. And I ended up, one of them, actually a guy, one of the guys came over and offered me a beer <laughs> and asked me, did I want to come and go rafting with them? It was, it was a great time. I, another one asked me on a date. Um, they, they, they're just said very yes, helpful right? people. You said yes, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was great. Like it was just Rafting. A, I, yeah, it was right. But I just, I think that we, we are, we are missing out on fun as, as African Americans. We need to be out there rafting. I mean, you just didn't go in the woods. You should have went in the woods. You never. Well, know what- I, I was afraid what was in the woods. I just, it wasn't quite. So you think all those white people died? No, but I don't think they were afraid of like bugs and spiders and and stuff. Neither like, should you. If they're not afraid, well, why like are you it. afraid? I, I want like to it. shoot the hooch before and you get on a. That's what the guy yeah. said. He said, "Come shoot the hooch with us," and I was like, "What's that fact, mean?" Yeah, I invited y'all to one last year. Yeah, you didn't get to. Yeah, but but yeah. see, see, they're just having a good time. They're just you know. Yep. Well, yep, and the little inner tubes. Yeah, you that's just good fun. Bring and there's something that I just wanted. I just wanted to come back and report. I did that in Delonica. To the African Americans, that we are missing out on good fun here. Well, it's not. I don't know if it's fun, relaxing. You know, you take a drink, it's relaxing. You sit well, back, and you this, talk, you no, chill. No, this family it they goes had fast, a whole. It goes slow. It was a whole group. They had like ten rafts connected. Right. And mm-hmm. then they all tied them together. Mm-hmm. Look yep. at that. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's relaxing. what we did. Yeah. So anyway, I just. It's a grand old I'm time. I'm going next time. I'm getting yeah. a raft. You should. There's I'm another one. A canoe. There's another one in Delonica, I think it is. It goes from like way up on the top of a mountain. Oh wow. Down. So I don't so, know about that. No, I think I'll hang out with white people in the woods until sundown. Yeah, well, I just, I don't want to, I wanted to go on a path that looked like it had been, you know, weathered a little bit. It just, they were just really in the thick of it. And I, I just, and they were drinking. They so. probably had the spot though. Like they, they, they figured out something about the hooch that you didn't know about. They pro- I don't know, but I just, I, it was too rich. I couldn't do it. They, they were just like, <laughs> come on. I'm like, I can't, I just got to go back up here. And I just <laughs> found another family that was, you know, another group of white people. A little that more were, vanilla. Well, just, you know, a little bit more um, culture. Correct. They were just... Yeah, a little more vanilla. <laughs> Which is really works both ways. They were yeah. wild. Yeah, they were they were a wild bunch there that went down the first time. But it was good. Did you write? I did. Okay. I did. I, I and I mean just as pleasant. It's just a pleasant. You so know, the sound of water helps you write? Mm-hmm. Well, just the environment, like the the geese. Now I was a little concerned. The white people are not afraid tweeting. of animals at all. They because st- I don't really mess you with geese. You have a geese. horse. I know, but geese are geese are almost as tall as I am, and they're Horses very aggressive. Are, are far taller than you. Yeah, but I can I can deal with them. The geese, I don't know what they want. I, I don't know what they want. <laughs> what do you think? I don't want? know what they want. What so so mean? they're mean. So this, this <laughs> little white girl goes into the goes into the lake, and they well the river. They were swimming in the river. I wouldn't I wouldn't quite do that. White people? Yeah, yeah. they were oh, swimming yeah, yeah. in the river. Mm. It's very brown. You can swim. It's all brown. You can yeah. swim, though. Yeah. I mean, in the water, it's like on me, it's like maybe waist deep. I mean, you may, if you're on a raft, there's a great chance that you may fall in. They didn't have on That's life jackets. That's why we don't do the Chattahoochee. We go up to Dahlonega. The water is kind of clear. You gotcha. see what I'm saying now? Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's different because it's coming from a mountain yeah. and it comes down. You yeah. have to drive. It's an hour away. This is just sitting. It's very still. Yeah, yeah this is very like this sewage. Is all of the Atlanta plants yeah. empty into the Chattahoochee. It looked very sewage-y. Yeah. So I, I mean, it's filtered. Concerned. It's clean before it gets there, but still. I was right, a little concerned. Right. So the little girl goes and she's giving the, the geese chips and I'm like, all right, they, they get very aggressive with mm-hmm. their... Uh, and the one girl's like, just grab one. I was like... I started looking for exits, you know, but it, it, it didn't go down. But I'm just, you know, there's a difference geese in the culture. Geese don't eat chips. Why? She, they she, do. She oh, no, they, the geese Cheetos. They, they ate the chips. They eat everything, okay? One chased me. It almost got me when I was pregnant. I, ever since then, I've left geese alone. I was Real in, bad experience. I was in St. Thomas. St. Thomas? Yeah, St. Thomas. Um, off of the coast of one of the little islands. Like, okay, we were on, in St. Thomas. We right. rode a boat mm-hmm. out to this, like, little satellite island. It's very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we... Went near there and put anchor down, mm-hmm. and all of us jumped in the water. And the white guy that I was with decided that um, he wanted to grab a sea turtle. And oh. I don't know if you ever seen how big sea turtles are. But it's as big as his table. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And so even the small ones, you got to really just yeah, like with his with his hands and stuff stretched out, he's as wide as the table is. So he mm-hmm. wanted to grab the back of him and see if he would pull him and let him like swim. So I'm watching <laughs> this in amazement because white people are amazing sometimes. They are. They're brave. So fuck with animals. So then when I get we get back up to the top of the water, he says, "Oh look." 
there go some nurse sharks. Now, I don't know what the fuck a nurse shark is, but I heard the word shark. shark. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> so apparently after I got back and Googled it, nurse sharks are very friendly. They're okay. Like, you know, their mouths are small or whatever. I don't give a shit. When I heard shark, I'm like, oh, so we're going back to the boat. He's like, nah, they're cool. It's cool. He went back down to get the turtle. I'm looking around like, how far am I away from this boat? Because I might just solo this one. You know what I'm saying? I think, I know sharks swim far faster than me, but I may be able to get back yeah. in time. Yeah, yeah. And if he ends up being on a headline... I'm good with that because he knew better. He's yeah, the one who saw them. Yeah. I wouldn't even know what that was. It was too far away. But Besides, appara- if they're eating him, they can't get to you. Well, it was more than one, though. Yeah, they swim in schools. They yeah, go together. They focus where the blood's coming from. You- and yeah. it's true, but y'all don't, I, I never take it to chance. They may think there's more, there's more over here and, and go back and get it. It would have taken way too long for me to do that yeah. if I had waited him to get close. Uh-uh. So I just started, you know, I just started going back to the boat. I was like, you know, this guy eventually is either going to catch his turtle or he's not. I actually have pictures of him trying to get to, he's very close to the turtle at oh one my point. God. And there was no fear. But I mean, that's cool though. I do, I said they, they had, they had beer, they had rafts, they had no fear. Because I mean, to, to, to actually grab a goose, a wild goose, I started, it's so weird because I know there's a camera. I started looking around like, because the girl's like, grab one. I'm like, okay. Man, so I what? That get... goose don't want to be grabbed? Right. Man, Not even. The geese They bite too. You know how teeth, but they Man. bite. Du- ducks yeah. too, ducks too. Yeah, no, uh, ducks rape. A nook. Ducks rape each other. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, they rape another, each other. Another fun place that black people miss out on. Get you an RV, yeah. even if you rent it, yeah. and go to a NASCAR event. But don't sit in the <laughs> seats. Drive into the middle mm. where they, they stay overnight before the race. And that oh, morning, they did that. Yeah, because they tailgate. Starting that morning, it is wild as shit <laughs> in that pit. I'm talking about wild. What it's happens? Everything. Anything you can think of, everything. The same beer that you got for free, yeah. you have to show your tits to get beer in the in the pit. Oh yeah, because they were. I got offered so many beers today. Is there? They put the sign being... on the side of their RV. Show your your tits for some beer or really? a hunch punch. Not even hunch in, punch. not even in New Orleans. Just in the middle of the RV. Thing. It's New Orleans times a hundred thousand. Oh, it's like that. Oh, Crystal, well, you want a beer? No, I've got, but I did get asked today. I thought it was kind of, and I think there's like super racist things that happen that sure. we don't even think about. Because I literally was like, oh my God, I'm going to follow this group of white people. And I was like, I hope they wouldn't be offended if they heard that. But I just feel like they're better at nature. You said it? To myself. Oh, and on, how and would on they Facebook. Hear it then? Well, on Facebook. And I have some white friends on Facebook. Oh, I didn't want to Not offend those them. white people, but some white people. Yeah, yeah. but then, so then the, the, the group comes over and this white guy sits next to me and he says, hey, you know, he's, he's you know, shoot, I don't know, he's talking. And so then. The shot. Hi, I'm well, Chad. He was, his wife was there too. It was very no, strange. That's cool. Yeah, but run so it. then he was like, run it. <laughs> would you run it if he had <laughs> no. asked? Come so on. So then he said, He's, uh, Come on, you never know what that could turn into. He was funny. But then he says, You know what? I can dance. Here, I'll show you. And they get the video. They say, Okay, let's videotape Derek and Crystal dance. And I was like, I didn't say I could dance. I didn't, I didn't, how <laughs> did, did I dance? get, no, Why? I was like, Because I feel like You're they wanted me to twerk. Life. You're missing I feel life. like they wanted me to twerk. Everybody I twerks. Feel, White people, black yeah, people, but I feel wives, like they, mothers. They all just stood there with their cameras. And I feel like they were waiting on me to twerk. And I was just like, I'm not going to give them the stereotypical. Because all uh, black advantage. people can dance, of course. I know. All I know. And he was like, and you can't he, even so have he comes over and he starts doing like this. And I was just like, I'm not, I didn't say, I you didn't, know what? I you, couldn't, you couldn't even do like an awkward cabbage patch or something for the I felt like they wanted me to turn back and I didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to do it. I, I feel, I feel, I feel bad for you that you're not able to just let go and have fun well, I for did. fear of I did, I had fun alive. with them. We all talked and you know, I took pictures of them and they apologized for being like poor white trash and I told them it wasn't like that. It was really cool what they were doing. They were fun, but yeah, I didn't want to dance. I think because you suppressed it earlier, you should give our viewers now a, a torch no, session. No, I don't. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just Want saying. a beer? <laughs> <laughs> the beers were free, okay? The beers okay. were free. Good. Mm-hmm. They're, not they the 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 They're not in the pit. They're not in the pit. Man. What were those beads I saw on the couch? <laughs> right. There. Yeah, a lot of beads go to have gone to the lake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next time a white couple asks you to have sex with them, you should do but that, it. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. I think he was just. Well, being... they didn't start there. It would have got there, though. I don't really. think so. It was how, very... how late did you stay? <laughs> well, obviously, I'm here. So, so if a white couple did ask you to have sex, like they just came out, would you do it? No. I wouldn't do it with a black couple either. I probably would prefer a black couple. How do you know this? How have, you, have you ever had sex with a couple before? No. So, how do you know if a black couple is better see, than a white couple? See, that's what they're going to hit you. You don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> that's a whack. That's, that's, that's what they're going to hit you a, with. So that is a dumb, one of those dumb things that, that guys say when they're trying to get sex. We're all grown. That's what all the lesbians say. Dudes don't even say that Dudes shit don't no say more. Guys say we're That's grown. how lesbians are converting. Like, Because we all know y'all suck the dick before. They're like, don't knock till you try. We know you've done it. We know y'all have done everything. Y'all are worse than us. Y'all are nastier than we are. So y'all have already By tried far. it. Y'all have already tried it. What do you, when you say nasty, what do you mean? Just with the capital N. <laughs> 
<laughs> most plain capital any way you so can say it. you're saying that women have done more than men yes. have done? Mm-hmm. Women, women are How? the ones who, who bring are we doing ideas. It with? No, no. Women are the ones. Guys can't really have a new idea. It. it because women will get up Men and Men have to be boxed in. Yes. Right. Oh, have wow. To be boxed women will in. come to the bedroom really? with a new idea and like, you know, then she has to play, she has to figure out a way to not do it so well. So the guy's are like, what the fuck you learning this? Because you're pretty good at this. That's funny. That's a woman thing. Y'all though. should so, shut up though. Why do guys say stuff like that? Like what? Where'd like, you learn this? Like, where'd you learn that? Like, I need to know you're too good up. at this. How are you so good if it's the first time? I mean, but then you're not going to get to enjoy it to its full potential. I don't, I'm One not going to be able to enjoy it told anyway. me this, and I want you guys to think about this. For you, it probably won't matter because you've been married, so you probably already know everything. Think about this, okay? My girlfriend said to me, she said, I don't think any guy has ever been able to enjoy the, my full potential because she didn't feel comfortable giving it to the, a guy because a guy will say something stupid like, who taught you that? Right. So just shut up. I do. I completely agree. She, she said, I just feel yes. like I haven't ever been able to just give. I feel like a What's porn star. What's her name? Star. She's a freak. I'm not going to tell you. But, hey, I was um, trying to get y'all a hookup, guys. No, yeah. but she said, but I, and I understand, like you can't ever just, because guys are so want to be nasty yet judgmental that you kind of got to just... No, 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 no. Guys aren't judgmental. Yeah, guys, no, no, they're not judgmental. Mm. Anybody, well, anytime you say where'd you learn that, that's judging. Well, why don't you, say, judging. Where you well, say where you learned it? But no, why are you even asking that? Why aren't exactly. you just Why are you uncomfortable right now? <laughs> <laughs> You're uncomfortable right now and I'm not even really asking hey, you. Have you ever had a woman do some stuff and then ask you afterwards like, does this make me a hoe? No. You ever but, had that conversation? No, because I tell them. I don't believe you. I tell them no, I it doesn't make bullshit. you a hoe. I would, you say I did, I did get that before. I don't believe that you would say that. I, would, look, I would say no. The correct make you a hoe. answer is, do you feel like a hoe? I don't <laughs> no, think that's it. Not what, the right girl answer. That's the correct that. answer. I'm not doing no philosophy with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I would ask I'm not judging. That. <laughs> so you, if you feel comfortable, <laughs> no, nah, I don't think guys are judgmental. We just want to make sure shit is safe. That's all. If you're are our, you not gonna are you gonna stop? If you're our woman, are woman, you gonna stop? If you're our woman, woman, are you gonna and stop? And you're really good at this. I need to know where you learned it. But are you gonna stop? Stop what? Doing it? Yes. Really? As much so as as you would if I asked you where'd you learn that? No, I'm just saying. I think you're turned if, off a little bit when they say that, right? I mean, of course. we're turned off a little bit when you're too good at it the first time you've ever done it. So, which is why my girlfriend says I can never unleash my full potential. So y'all just keep come on up with a story, make up some stuff. shit. Like you know, I was looking at this website, and this is like, hey, would you like that? Like, let's pretend like we really learned it together, and then me not be not so good at it at first, <laughs> and then work Build your up? way up. Right? Oh my what god, your egos are five like five minutes of theatrics. Oh my, well, but we you give know you what? Lots of theatrics anyway. <laughs> but you know, Jesus I Christ. mean, because good is relative. Because if he's never experienced whatever it is before and it's really pleasing to him hell you may not have done it before either but yeah. what the hell you did you see what I'm saying just don't, don't be a champion I feel like guys no matter how bad you are or something if you're just very enthusiastic they're fine yep we are yeah 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 pretty much that's head to a T if you're if you're into it, I figure that almost, out, ladies. Almost. Don't no. get into it with teeth, and then you no. Just, come on, I mean, there's still. I mean, that's like basic, though. Yeah, there's still talent and untalented. There's still a yeah. difference. In, <laughs> Slow in, down. Don't just go. <laughs> right. All righty then. Well, all right. Uh, speaking of the church and all this other church and sex, <laughs> did you guys see Aretha Franklin's funeral? They How had, could you not have seen it? it? They televised it. It's, it was streaming everywhere. It was only it. on global news. Right. It's it streamed. I it, don't get it. Nobody gave a fuck about Aretha Franklin because I didn't. I think Aretha Franklin was boring. I never liked any what? of her music. Yeah. Who yeah, says yeah. that? I like one song. Yeah. You, what what song was that? Um, you going riding on the freeway? Hell no. Nothing new. It was uh, a. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's new. not. That's Pink Cadillac. <laughs> well, that's when she was old already. I'm saying. But they had a bunch of how pink old she like hundred out there. Like her face was so swollen with fluid. She was. Like the, she had cancer. The past thirty she years, had she had cancer. cancer. No, she had cancer. For when that who the... zoom and zoo came out, her face was swollen. With, like it was just come on. It's not. A, she was heavy set. It's not attractive. She well, no one said. She, that hold on, how old was she? 100? She was in her eighties, but no one what said you that you have to be a. You don't. Uh, yeah, show, you do. Women have to be attractive until they die. Yes, that's ridiculous. That's hey, foolish. that's the way it's going right now. Angela Bassett celebrated her sixtieth. Holly Berry looks good, looks good at 50 something. No, that's Killing two. it. That's two. Two what? Two women. Okay, so they get Okay, they... Aretha passed away, and we're, I mean, you know. I didn't like Aretha Franklin's music. Aretha was like an American staple, though. Like, she me. sang for presidents. That's, that's because. I did not like Aretha Franklin. I just didn't like it. I never liked any of the music. Any, Aretha, I like one song. Actually, Aretha Franklin sung for the best crooks in the world. She's what? got, man, she started, especially in Detroit, in the 
what, 50s and 60s? What are you talking yeah. about? She came across them. She, that's how she got on. She was singing for all the crooks and the gangsters and the pimps. Right. And and all of them is pastors now, and they were speaking at a funeral. What are you talking about? What? She's singing the player ball. I'm saying, where, 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 where are pimps and drug dealers all together to hear song? Detroit. Where does, oh, my God. You stay away from Detroit, okay? I, I, I was born not long, not far from there. That's hey, not true. I love Detroit. Some but of my closest not, friends are from Detroit. But uh, it's like a white person saying, all my best friends are black. I can say, I can say something about black. That's not what that is. Okay. Dope boys are all together, <laughs> even in Detroit. That doesn't even Play make ball. sense. God, okay. I, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I derailed you. So the funeral was seven, eight hours. Wow. Yeah. First of all, wow. And, and, I and I, okay, I got actually a lot of people saying they disagree with me about this. They did four wardrobe changes on her. I felt like that was- On Aretha? On Aretha. The dead body. The dead body. The casket was open? Well, they had a, yeah, they had open. Was her casket. face swollen in the casket, or did they drain it? No, nah, she was she was together. She, really she even good. had she had. I saw one picture. She had her her red heels on, and they that crossed her legs. That was a very legs. distasteful picture. Wait a minute, you can see her whole body. They, they crossed her legs. Yeah. She ain't. Well, they had. A, I mean, was, the people they they felt like comfy. they wanted to make sure the fans and people that were close friends could, I guess, pay their respects. So they had the casket open. Mm. But four wardrobe changes, I thought was this is unsettling to me. I, I thought it was unsettling, but I was told that that, that it was perfectly normal. That that's that they that and they it was weren't a work shift adjusting the body. They weren't tampering with the body. But I know when my my grandmother passed a few years ago, and we had to pick out what she was you know going to wear, and then having them put that on her, it was just a very emotional time. So I can't imagine doing that four times. Like it just you know maybe that's what she wanted. I hope so. I do think four wardrobe changes is a bit much. On I mean, Beyonce, body? on the run concert, Beyonce only had maybe, what, six? Six costume changes? And they kind of all look the same, though. Just saying. Yeah, they were good. But I mean, I, I just... Yeah, so but Aretha then, ain't dancing. She's not. She never did. So, well, she she did. But it, but the, the funeral just had a lot of <laughs> issues. So there was there was... <laughs> <laughs> there was some. There was a lot of performers that wanted to sing. There were uh, the fact that President Obama did not come. There are a lot of people that were angry about that. I he didn't like was, her either. Neither one of me or no, nor Obama is coming. Mix. They have picture. Mix people don't like her either. That's not true. She sang for Obama, <laughs> and they gave each other the fist pound. Well, that, there's damn. pictures of them. But I mean, I, he went to McCain's funeral, but he was not at Aretha's funeral. So okay, that makes sense. Clinton was at both, and Clinton is looking for a check. <laughs> Clint is trying That's to get it. So you know he made money to be there, right? I don't think he did. Come he did. on. He probably did. Anytime I don't did think he speak? He did. did he speak? He did. Anytime one of the person like that speaks, they get paid for that. I don't think he got paid to be at the funeral. I don't think that. I just So don't you're telling me your that. artists, when your artists are around and they go and sort of speak. Not up? a funeral though. Were, and not were, something were, like was that. Was Aretha close with President Clinton or something? They said that she, you know, she sang. Because he him. played the saxophone. He backed her up on, on a tour one time. He probably no, I don't know about on tour, but I mean they were they had they a were, jam session. He, you know, she sang for a lot of presidents. I bet. Um mm-hmm. so then you know, Crooks. now <laughs> I know you guys saw Bishop Ellis. Mm-hmm. The pastor that got up to preach. I heard and he, about it. Yep. And he groped. Well, first of all, he he made a statement about Ariana Grande's name, saying it sounded like something that was at Taco Bell, which yeah. was offensive. That's not. That's, I don't know about offensive. It wasn't funny though. That's it, that's why it's offensive because it wasn't no, funny. Right. A pastor doesn't need to make. Racial he said jokes. Grande is something he thought was on a Taco Bell menu. I think that if he had said Starbucks, though, it would probably have been funnier, actually. That would have been funnier because then it wouldn't have had a racial. The, the ta- but see, the to problem it. with Taco Bell is that Mexican people don't even respect Taco Bell. Not like, at all. like that's not real. Who who respects Taco Bell? <laughs> yeah, you I know, guess that's a good question. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Starbucks said they have the Grande there, and yeah, it would have been sense. something different. That makes but, sense. But like, he was really trying to make a Mexican joke. If Ariana Grande is even Mexican, I don't know what she is. She's Hispanic, but I'm not sure. It was exactly just a poor joke. Is. Like uh, you, you're right. If it was Starbucks or something else that was funnier, if if he had a better punchline and landed, yeah, I it, guess it, Grande. Yeah, because you would think of that more with Starbucks than 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 Taco It was about. one. It was like one of those jokes where you are like, ha ha. I wish they would shut the fuck up. Right. Well, but, but then he, a- within his arm, I wasn't even the the joke was stupid. But then the fact that he was he was. He embraced her, and then he kept the embrace so long, and then his hands were actually like he feeling perved. around for her breast, and it was just like I didn't see that. 
Yeah, they were. They were right there That's on the ribcage. That's not what cage. I saw. I saw him reaching around, but I don't see. Him. I didn't see him feeling for her. What breasts. else is there? His besides... fingers was too. He was. If the his... fingers hey, don't are do my here, computer like that, man. Was... I don't even like that. Looks gross. No, you I'm see, okay. I... Look That's here. Now, fingers if the fingers, look fingers are here, show, show the camera. He's like, but if the try fingers... to pull it out so we can see no, what it looks I'm like. Not... And... You know what? <laughs> I'm saying, what, what else was he reaching for if not a breast? Um, no, I think that it's possible that Ariana Grande is only but yay big. She is tiny, and so reaching around Ariana Grande is not. A difficult task. He was probably trying to hold his hand back because she's only a she's he at the, she's it, a green no, bean. He was nah, no, his fingers nah, were going nah, in. They nah, weren't nah. no, not not gonna work. Nah. <laughs> she's a not green bean. Work. But it's funny because somebody else said that they were like, well, he's probably used to putting his arm around bigger women. Big women, exactly. So you know, in but, the church, but a lot of big still, bitches in that, church. The point mm-hmm. is that's inappropriate when you when you you don't keep your hand on someone's. Chest that long, you especially a pastor. But period, you should not do that. He he was slick measuring her cup size. Go in and doing. go out. Come in, pat, go out. Yeah, you it was just stay. too long. Church That's hug. What the problem. Yeah, was. church, church hug. hug. That's everyone should have a church. Thus, the term church hug. Like, what mm-hmm. the hell are you doing? A holy hug. A, a blessed hug Exactly An anointed hug That was not That was And so he came out And apologized There was no anointing Not for that He did He apologized And said that he Is not his intent To ever I touch a woman's him. breast he, That's not true Would you all want it's me to It's never read? your Sir Sir It's never your intent To touch yeah, a woman's breast Yeah that's why I was like That was a little weird He went too far You like boys He should have had His publicist make a statement But Yo, he, he said That but he was, was not bold his intent But he was bold enough Let's just I, 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 I disagree I feel like he was bold Bold enough to grope her or, or feel her up, and not only in front of his wife, but the what twenty, thirty thousand people that well, were see, there I in church is live this audience. Is I, think. I think that and men, the whole globe. This is men pretty have damn a, bold. A switch, and when they're around Titty, I don't think he was trying to do it on purpose. But I think he just <laughs> come on. Crystal. I don't think he was trying to do it okay, on purpose. Stop I think it. Stop. It's kind of like when a guy is looking at you and, and looking at your breast. I don't think he's trying to do that on purpose. Stop the madness. Ariana Grande is not known for her breast. Ain't nobody trying to feel her breast. So why was he holding on he, that long? He didn't mean to. He was holding on long because he's probably a, just a weird old dude who hugs women too long. Exactly, you know, and awkward. likes and likes to. The, the breast just happened. I think that was the just, breast that was, just happened. The breast just, no. Nobody's checking just, for Ariana's oops. breast. Oops, I've just been holding she on. Does, she, does she no, even clear, have breasts? Clearly the bush don't you do that. A don't cup, you shame her. A cup. Don't you body That's shame her. That's not a shame. That it don't, you said, does she, have, does she even have breasts? Like, what I'm saying, is that something like, oh man, Ariana's breasts, boy, ooh, you got to touch those if you ever get a chance. I don't think her breasts are that impressive. She has regular breasts. They may be an A cup, First of maybe all, a B you, cup. You, just, you said on a, a couple of shows ago that you guys don't really care. It, big, small, droopy, whatever. You no, guys no, 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 appreciate no, no. breasts. I, we, yeah, we do, but I'm not yeah, talking, right. about, you're talking about groping them, though. Like, So now you only want to grope big breasts? Well, no, it's just. I mean, there's only big breasts are easier to hold. Little breasts, you just kind of bang. It would never be my intention to touch any woman's breast. See, that don't make sense. Maybe I crossed the border. Where that, we that was a better joke, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I was. <laughs> that was better. Maybe I was too friendly or too familiar. But again, I apologize. And he acknowledges that's too familiar. He right. acknowledges that's wrong. He hugged her too long. Mm-hmm. He did. I don't think he was trying to fill up Ariana Grande. Let little me ask you a question. Ass when self. do you ever hug a woman and not be thinking about breasts? I hug a woman all the time unless it's my wife. No, because I, you go in and go out. You right. don't stay there. Right. If you stay there, yeah, you're you looking do one for breasts. Of these. You you sad. You're, I'm gonna be. If you I'm stay gonna in. You're looking for breasts because hey, I know friend. guys. Every t- whenever I hug, because we hug a lot here in Atlanta, I go in, I go with the shoulder, and I come back out because I've I've had guys try to give you a full on. Right. In fact, some guys would be like, Crystal, why you give me that church hug? Cause. Of I, that I can say that I am I go in on the side Right I'm absolutely uncomfortable Every every single time I hug a woman Really? Every See that time. proves it So when would you ever linger? Never Because I'm always uncomfortable Because exactly. I don't want them to think Oh this nigga hugging me Exactly Like he putting Unless his whole chest And body titty. against But right. you know what Actually I think Because women have told me When they feel comfortable with a man Or they like a man They put their whole chest on him if When they hug him And him. if she doesn't like him Like when women hug each other they yeah. tend not to let the breast touch. If That's a woman were to that, put her whole chest no? on me, I would okay. be very uncomfortable. Yeah, because that would be her flirting with you. That's too much. Don't do that. Don't hug me with your whole chest unless you're trying to be a sister wife. Then <laughs> we got an application. We got to fill out first and background checks and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I I don't I think that that's just not if and and you could see literally she was uncomfortable because she was like moving away from him. He would not let her go. It was too long. Yeah, it was it way was, too it, long. It, it, you know, that 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 is that's a classic he case. He did do the old man. Understand. Hold on now. 
Yeah, oh, like, oh, yeah. I, hang on I've, now. I've been at church and older men do that. It's freaky. It's weird. I mean, nobody likes that. And his excuse originally was about the first joke was that he was been on the air for a while. He was trying to keep it lively, which is he why I said the joke young. about Kevin. Yeah, being I get it that he was trying to. I, but it was I a mean, bad joke. Though. It was a bad joke. It was in poor taste. And then his his entire speech was just no hugs. I mean, you don't need to hug somebody that for that long. No, no I mean I get it. It's like it's it's out of respect when you go up, you greet someone, but you don't ever stay that long. I mean that just I mean literally, it looked so uncomfortable. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you like this: when she came on that stage with that little black cocktail dress on, here we go. That's what them dogs came up. Oh, mm. I think that I I think it's a it's an involuntary instinctive reaction with guys. Like if you there were pictures of Clinton and, and and Jesse Jackson looking at her. They and, just caught him at the right time. That was just I don't know. I think they took a the thousand picture, shots. That's the only one. That's where they were why all I like Farrakhan. Like Farrakhan was I great. Love Farrakhan, Farrakhan sat there with his. Yo. He was just as dignified and he always has a smile on. So you can't say he's smiling but at a this woman. This is true, but he know <laughs> he know what he know, and he just. That's what a man. That's what a good. That's what a man is supposed to do. Especially an older man. I agree. You see a good looking little young woman. You, you think it. Yeah, exactly. You think it and you grin. Well, I will say this, Farrakhan. The 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 way that the Muslim religion teaches, as far as out of how how men and women should respect each other, I agree with one hundred percent. Like he he carries himself with class and dignity, and that's. Admirable, you know what I mean. So you never, you're never going to see him or anyone that's a close part of his, um, his, I guess, association ever acting out in those ways. Like that, I really, really do love that. Except about for the him. Malcolm X. Uh, never mind. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't do that. Okay, but, what? but you know what? It's like a whole scandal. If you've gone to <laughs> well, see, wait, but if, that's not. This, I would say respect women. T- Towards men, but they they men. are they are very mindful about whom you are and how you should be handled. Like if you've ever yeah. gone to see Farrakhan speak, mm-hmm, chances are they said if even if you came with your 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 husband, mm-hmm. then they may have said, "All right, sir, you go through this line, right?" And a man will you know check you out, pat mm-hmm. you down, or whatever, and respectful. a woman will. And it makes women feel safe because a yeah. lot of times you can go in places and you just don't feel safe as a woman if you're around a lot of guys. It just doesn't feel safe, but and, you do feel safe when you're around Muslim but brothers. Church is one of those places. I mean, let's be honest. The church has been, especially the black church, has been a den for scam artists, people conning people out of their money, and and for uh, sexual abusers. Mm, church well, perks. the black church. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. A lot of a, a lot of just... women ran to the church thinking they was gonna find a God fearing man. And what they found yeah. was the same a man church perv. The same man I think people are just hey. people. And unfortunately, that doesn't change who they are. And just because a person goes to church does not mean that they're not, they're any different than someone that doesn't go to church. You know what I mean? Like, or worse. I, I don't, I think people are just people, period. I don't necessarily think, I think it's worse because you're acting under the guise of God. That makes it worse. I love Farrakhan, but I think it's because he looks like my grandmother, like a lot. <laughs> I love what he has. I love his perspective on on our community. I do. I do. I love the fact that they've been preaching clean eating forever, and that's how we should be loving each other. I love the fact of the way they 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 teach men and women, husbands and wives, to love each other. I I think that's great. And he did. He was the only one not on his phone, not sleep, not messing around in his chewing gum. Like he just sat like a very respectful. Dignified man, you but know? I, from what I heard, they had trouble with her dress too. You mentioned the dress. I heard they had trouble with her dress. Like what people do you mean were, trouble. People mean? were stressing out about her dress. Oh being... yeah, well I, there was a, mm-hmm. there was a whole lot of social media. You know, before we even got to Bishop Ellis, people were really upset about the fact they felt her dress was disrespectful. And I say, and I think I've said this before on the show, Ariana Grande is very very small. If a thicker sister, say Fantasia, had wore something like that, it would have been. They would have knocked her down before she even got on stage because of the way Ariana Grande is built. She gets away with things that other women would not. Um, it, there was a time when she was singing. She couldn't bend over because you could just about see up her dress. It was a very, very, very short dress. I don't necessarily think it was funeral appropriate, but yeah. I also think that young people don't even think like that. This isn't a funeral. This, this is like, It was a funeral. Yeah, but it is, but it, they changed her dress, her outfit four times. This they was did. a fiasco. This is Biggie Smalls' funeral. Come on, man. <laughs> Brooklyn shut down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was there. They was in their best. It wasn't necessarily their church best. They were in their best. This is supposedly the queen of soul. So you come looking fancy. You don't come looking churchy. That's not... That's I mean, stupid. but everybody else was churchy. Well, well they shouldn't have been. Well, you know what? <laughs> I think that... I, 
<laughs> the only pass that I can I can kind of see on Ariana Grande um, in terms of her dress was that pla- black church. Mm-hmm. Black church is a different culture, right? Like than you talked about earlier, I got a drop churches. cloth. I would I would have got I would have been escorted out if I had wore something like that. I mm-hmm. got a drop cloth off a pencil skirt that was past my knee. If mm-hmm. I had our, what Ariana had on, I would have been. Yoked up and taken out of the church. Just proves that and black see, people don't know it. Jesus. She's, well, I, I, I don't I see you. her as as truly living that black experience. No, so of she may not. not have known that. Like nobody may not have pulled her to, church, to the side who and goes said, to church hey, and sister, heels that, with a skirt that barely covers your butt. Like who does? That? It's not church. I mean, don't get me it's wrong. The girl can sing, but I was kind of oh, when I awesome. saw her name on the program, I was like. I guess they just pulled her in to I mean, sing for Aretha. She's a, no, I think but they I look for people that could actually sing out of respect for I mean, for Fantasia Aretha. can actually sing. So can Aretha. And she did sing. Yeah. Right. As Ariana, Ariana Grande can Tori as well. Kelly can sing. Ariana Grande can sing as well. Don't, don't, don't come yeah, for her. Yeah. Her voice I'm not is saying amazing. That she, I'm not saying that she can't. Her, I'm just saying, why would we not call her? She, her voice is amazing. I just didn't see the tie <laughs> to Aretha. A singer, a, a a pipe. That was enough. Any singer. The fact that she's a, a did she diva. sing Aretha song? Why, why not she's John Legend? I thought we were talking about women. A, we were. Yeah, I thought it was a woman thing. Mm. We were. Uh, I don't. I don't, hey. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I just. I don't think. But, I don't I, but it's, first of all, music it doesn't ha, doesn't. Ariana has a soulful voice. She's one of the best right yeah, now. Singer. She's a dope. The young so singer, I, she's I, one of the best. I understand why they would call her. I think. Uh, uh, what's uh, Faith Hill song? She's a singer. You yeah. know, any people that can actually sing, they would they called. So, I think it made sense that she was put put on the program, and she's younger, which shows that there are still younger people that can actually blow like that. She's dope. Mm-hmm. I just think that she was dressed inappropriately. I don't think that she shouldn't have been there. I think that she just. If she had two more inches, it would have been cool. But like, I wasn't offended because, like I said, she is like a little girl, and she doesn't, you know, she doesn't look offensive to me. The picture I saw, her thighs look good though. They did. Yeah. They, they didn't have okay. no, no no cellulite. They was they weren't little. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's uh, this. This she is got not nice legs. this is not church. This is not Sunday church. This was a, a well, funeral for I the queen of soul. Corrected. Maybe she should have had it on a little bit longer. Because I'm thinking that she doesn't. But but if that's the case, then I guess it would it would take. If men are able to say I can look at her legs and that looks sexy, then I guess the the focus is no longer on the voice and it becomes on the okay. legs. That's ridiculous. It's it's all the same. Jesus, y'all don't black people don't know Jesus. That's the problem because y'all you, know all, Jesus? you don't. You couldn't. If Do you, you think, know Jesus? If you think that her dress is more important than the the message, then I don't think obviously it's more important. I think it was a, it was a distraction. Uh, a distraction from who? From your looking ass? From because you look and stop looking in. Well, the guys were not going to stop. Okay, I don't think anybody didn't get the message because of her legs. I gotcha. don't know. <laughs> I don't think anybody Distractions work uh, I'm sorry Distractions they work do. So what, who'd you get? Who did I get? Yeah. I just got Crystal Oh okay She wasn't even talking now I didn't know But I didn't know What was going on I was confused <laughs> okay. I thought he had no, something To give you No I just hit her with Right I know I know yeah, what you did Right you yeah, try to yeah. get me I, That's fine Woo. But what I'm saying Is that that's not enough To I was still gonna say What I was gonna say Even if I looked That's silly man Her dress was fine <laughs> Black people don't know Jesus It's obvious I'm standing on that one Y'all got mm. y'all got a remnant. Y'all got an idea, but you just make the shit up like that. Short dresses don't belong in a church. Why? Women wear lipstick in church. It's not That's the what same. red lipstick was 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 worn to mimic the pussy lips. That's why prostitutes. What? Wore- that's the reason why red lipstick was invented. The Are first you lipstick was red lipstick. And the reason why it was invented was to mimic the lips of a pussy. Are that you was the, sure? I this is, promise. This I've never is the heard whole that before. Shit. It up. This is the whole tip you shit I've all, heard you say. Look wait, wait, wait. It up. First of all, why it who red lips? lipstick? Hold on, red lipstick was designed to, to look mimic like the pussy lips. Whose exactly. lips are whose kitty lips are red? Obviously not yours, but your Whatever color, what color are they? They're not red. Tell them. I'm just saying red is a little concerned. That's a little I'm unsettling. Saying, I'm just telling you. It's like some... blood and and no, and, come yeah. on, man. Lipstick I, is red. Like look it up. No, just look it up. I'm gonna look it up. The but, history of red lips. Oh I god. Think, I mean, I can see if they was like pink or like. Okay, look it up. I'm just saying. Look it up. Uh, Nonetheless, people people do all be... kind of stuff in church, but you just want to pick something. Oh, that dress is wrong. Your ass, you know what I'm saying? You don't. Took... Well, you know what? Because of how short her dress was, a lot of people are say are are basically saying that she kind of asked for oh, or was on. people did people like she invited that. the groping, and that's and that's and, and, and that's why the pastor gets the benefit. The bishop, excuse me, bishop gets the pass. 
for uh, he does not get a pass. He, he was unintentional. It was a it, it was moment. A, it was a clean mistake. I don't think he groped her, and I don't think her dress was wrong. He definitely groped her. You not just ignored. Not intentionally. She's okay, little. guys. If you're ever just hugging a girl and, and your hands are pressed against her rib cage, I guess you can just be saying you're doing that unintentionally. Whatever. History of lipstick. That's the new church <laughs> hug. Whatever. So all this, there is a young lady who has come forth, and she's very bold in her in her uh, statements. Correct. You sent us this uh, video of a of a young lady. I believe an Instagram yeah. model. Yeah, uh, Brittany Renner. Yeah, so she said. Actually, let me let me back up here. People have been asking her about her body count and the types of guys that she has sex with. Of course, some of her photos on social media are. Um, do I want to say suggestive? She's got her ass she's, exposed. Yeah, she's very. A few uh, things, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And she's very, she's very vocal. She's very mm-hmm. open um, with her life and right. her sexuality in terms of social media. Right. Um, so she spoke a little bit about her body count. Something that you all have been and, harassing the hell out of me about. Mm-hmm. And we still, we still ain't got no answers. It's not going to happen. I think that's in poor taste. It's in poor taste, but she actually broke it down and shared all types of numbers <laughs> with the view with uh, her her view. Is that was that an Instagram video that she did? Yeah, yeah, that was a that was an IG video. And what did she say? It she gave like she gave she broke it down to where there were numbers for athletes, I think rappers or celebrities, and then average guys. Yeah. And she said that she did not want, she didn't have, she did not like to have sex with average guys or regular guys because they talk too much. My only concern was celebrities and and rappers talk the most. They put you in songs. Like, has Drake not affected her? Maybe she hasn't made it to well, Drake yet? Drake's entire career has been talking about... That's what I'm saying. Like, like who is she like talking about? Like, he was about? bigging up, uh, like, these models or these women that he were dating, they've right. all become or gathered a little bit of fame yeah. because they were mentioned because in a song. Were, yeah, I mean, Drake is it's known like for that. like 10 of them now, at least. Drake is known for that. There was actually a girl that I talked to on the phone that reached out to me because she wanted PR because she had... She said that she gave the best head in the game since Superhead, and she had Drake on tape saying it. I think Drake is very... Mm, she just hasn't Drake met Drake the, yet. The, the judge for this? I think he may be. I think he may be. Maybe. I mean, his baby mom is a porn star. I think he's pretty good. I don't know if women... He's that, a lot of strippers. Yeah, but they don't, they don't give good pussy. Those women don't do well, it I right. I don't know about that. The point I'm just is... saying, all those women who look like that, they don't really work. They just... <laughs> They're just there. The point is, she's saying that celebrity and celebrities you an and athletes. Ugly woman. She's saying celebrities and athletes don't talk about sex behind closed doors, or once it happens, they don't kiss and tell. And I think she's sadly mistaken. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, I've, <laughs> she said. Well, she said a lot of athletes. She said one. A lot of guys run their mouth. Right. And, she said regular and, guys and they run act their like, mouth. Yeah, they act like they've never had some before, and I totally agree. I, I think a lot of guys spoil it. They spoil it by talking too much. Yes. First of all, this woman yes. is not does not look like she's good at having sex. Well, she's a very beautiful woman. No, she's not very beautiful. Beautiful actually. don't mean she good actually at isn't sex. very beautiful. Well, I didn't she's, say that. She looks whack to me. I think probably when her makeup and stuff, she probably looks good. But like that picture that we saw where she's talking, I, I, she's not pretty at all. She's a regular chick. Her lips are nothing. She's not going to be able to do anything, any work for real. Like I don't see what the the. <laughs> she's skinny. She probably has no ass. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. She no, got no. ass? She got ass? Ah, uh, contraire, Kevin, mon frere. Kevin jumped, contraire. jumped, jumped into action. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hold on, see, now, now I got to go to Instagram. We okay. got to remind, meanwhile, you meanwhile, got to rewind that back. That me, was hilarious. Meanwhile, no. Krista, while we're waiting on Kevin to do that, I must, I, I mistook my history, mm-hmm. so it necessarily wasn't in, invented that way. Yes, but I pulled it up as well. Uh, Mid fifteen hundreds, lipstick popularity eventually died out among the upper classes. People considered it only fit for prostitutes and lower class women. Right. So in within that, that was where I got that from. Okay, the prostitutes I, I, wore it. I see here it was they they use clothes, shoes, and jewelry, and right. they would crush up the jewelry to put on their lips. And it and, wasn't just women; it was men or women. Right. Just it to was it was it was a status attention. thing, not right. a gender thing. Exactly. Thank mm. you for clearing yeah. that up. Okay, Kevin's pulled up her Matter ass. of fact, I'm, f- I'm following you now, but yeah, here's Like your... he wasn't before. All right, you know, I saw, okay. I saw so it. Here's her page. Ooh, I'm following him from the show okay, page. Okay, this is not a real ass, though. Yeah, this isn't, come on, Kevin. I thought you That's were going to show me something for what? real, man. That is not her ass. Okay, but guys like those. That's not her ass. So she's <laughs> just a little skinny chick, no lips. She cannot, there's nothing she could do. 
probably. What? I just, I just don't believe it. <laughs> what do you mean nothing that she could do? Uh, oh like, uh, she can lay there like the rest of you them do. Are, you know what? You're the type of guy that gets... That's why she said, because in her video, I was so confused, because she mentioned making videos and sending guys video, And I'm like, who's doing all of this? Right. So maybe because of someone like you that's like, oh, you can't do anything, she's probably having to up her game and do... Ex- <laughs> Is Kevin she naked? Is, Kevin is a fan. He's, no, she's he's, not naked. What he's very, uh, he's convinced. There's an ass there. What's she has nothing name? on. What's her name, Kevin? But, but, uh, bundle, but is it Bundle of Britain? She doesn't have anything on, right? Yeah, she used to do workout stuff. I don't know what happened. Is she wearing anything? Man, but all, let's just be for when women no, do the no, most naked. times when women do she's the, the, the fitness half. stuff on IG, it's it's not fitness. Yeah, no, it's but I mean she doesn't have any pants it's, on. It's all oh no, she does suggestive. have some like skin colored. Oh, they're nude. Yeah, nude draws. But look, that's not a real ass, is it? It might be. I don't know. I think I mean she's a workout girl. Maybe I'm not impressed. <laughs> she probably wouldn't be impressed with me either. But it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's bundle of Britney. Yeah, she Bundle used to do Britney workouts. I don't, I don't know what happened. It just went awry somehow. That's cool. But she, so she got online saying she has to. So she was saying guys. that that's she, not real. She, <laughs> that isn't Kevin real. Is, mm. that don't Kevin fit is nothing. riding for you, Brittany. That don't fit nowhere else Kevin's in your body. Riding. It, he's riding. But, Twenty, 24 yeah, days. Kevin, the flyer. What? I get it. She has her ass it's out. It's IG. But Kevin, it wasn't her understand. ass. Originally, you don't have to pull any more pictures up. So she said twenty-four. She said twenty-four, and she said that is that a lot or a little for a twenty-year-old? That's a lot. Okay. That's a she, lot. She's mid-20s probably? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. She said that she's also sending videos and pictures, and she doesn't want a guy to put that online. No, I think she said the guys will be taking pictures of no, her. No, she said if oh, she sends she a guy saying, a video, oh. and she, sees her she, she, post it. she doesn't oh, want him yeah. to post it. And I don't. Does that come along with the package? If you're messing with a girl, she's going to send you... Video, soft uh, I, porn I, I would First of all, I would never send anyone anything, and I would never send... I would never put that on the internet. I would that be that, uh, But uh, do girls send soft porn videos? Is yeah. that normal? Okay, I didn't know. All right. Yeah. Hey, that's a thing. Yeah, like porn is you have to porn do that? is but totally she said it like you had to do it. If you I don't want to have sex with him because if I have sex with him, I have to send him a soft porn and then he's going to put like can't you just do one not the so other? You mean to tell me you've you never you you've both? never dated someone and, and nah, just like nah, took a little nah, pussy nah, shot nah, or nah, 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 nah. And, and that's not what she said. That? No, I'm not into that, but she said no she said playing with it. Yeah, spread eagle. And, and that no, nah, that's come on. Yeah. I'm not a porn star like that's not what I do. But society has Ask changed and porn porn is so much more accessible now. I'm not. In fact, hey, the man. person that you meet at the club can send you porn videos tonight. What? That is how it works now. Yes. The per- oh, of themselves? Absolutely. That's nuts. If that ladies, person is interested, then ladies, they send those ladies, types of photos and ladies, videos. Ladies, I hope, ladies, I hope you're not sending porn videos. I just hope you're not. And if you are, I hope you're getting paid for them. Like, make sure that you have a website set up. I think Instagram does it now. If that's what you choose to do. I'm not hating on you, okay? I'm not going to send them with you, but that's just me. But if you want to, make sure that you get a paid site so that people have to pay for that that footage. You just don't want to be sharing that footage without getting payment for it. Did I, we just, I just do a whole do a, PSA right I there? I did, because I just, I just don't a understand why PSA. women would do that. Like, well, don't ever, I don't care if, if you like them. If what else cute, should women get paid for, don't Crystal? Don't do that. Don't, I'm just saying the women that are going to no, send. No, list me all the things that women should do If you're, you're going to be for. taking naked pictures, and Picture, that's what you choose pictures, to do on else? Instagram, don't post any naked pictures on Instagram for free. Okay, what Go else? Go to the site that you can get paid for it, and then put Casual your dates, there. they get paid for those? Casual dates? If you're dating unattractive men, okay? Okay. They get paid for it. Make sure that he's paying. Don't just date an unattractive man for no reason. Head. If you like him, Felatio. he could be good. But just don't date him if he's unattractive unless you're going to get paid for Felatio, it. Right? Felatio. Two. I'm just saying, whatever you choose to unattractive do with an unattractive Felatio, man. Unattractive money. <laughs> with an unattractive man that you're not into. Felatio. Don't do that for free. Don't do it because you need validation. We're not into that. If you're going to do it, I'm just, I'm not speaking to the women that have, that are, you know, in a different place and they don't believe in having sex with people they're not into. But if you're just into sharing freeness, that's okay. If that's well, what you, you mean, choose to all do, these, uh, the then IG, make sure that you get paid for it. Um, Instagram is like the gold rush for beautiful women, Beloved. man. Any, any, any women, Beloved. any curvy women are on IG, and that shit is like the wild, wild west. All okay. of them are setting up their, their, their yes. clothing boutiques. Oh, set up Britney's your selling a book. Britney's a book. doing a book. A book. She talks about her book all the time. Book. She's got people excited okay. to purchase a book. Okay. A book. Now, again, ladies... Just a book. don't show any nakedness. She's selling a book. A book. <laughs> a book. Is it an audio book? Come on, a book. Is it an audio book? No, it's not an audio book. I don't Are know we what sure? It, I don't know what it is, but a book, really? Okay, all right. This is what we want we from Bundle of Brittany, a book. 
a book? <laughs> Who the fuck is reading that wants to be like Bundle Well, there Brittany? are other girls that are in her line of work a book? that may want to read it. So I'm just saying, ladies, again, my beloved. I'm sure there. there's some little booty girls that, a she, book? that look up to her and want to see. Well, they're going to get the, they're gonna about, get the yes, surgery. They're going to get fat transfer quickly. Bundle Brittany. Yeah, those girls are not are not <sighs> a book. <they're laughs> <laughs> a damn book. <sighs> My thing, ladies, is <laughs> again. Okay, I'm so serious. Like, if you're doing this for free, you need to send me an email. We should come out with a book, I, ladies. Should. If you are sending se- sexually suggestive photos across social media, then write a book. And, and no, but if start you share, a clothing the, the reason that you should charge him. Is because he's going to share it with friends. He's going to use that as entertainment. We all know that anytime someone sends a nude, it's at least three to five people see that nude immediately. I know whenever someone sent me a pic, I immediately sent it to my girlfriends. That's just what we do. So if I did it and I'm a girl, you know that he's going to do it. So charge him if he's using you for entertainment, okay? You don't allow him to use you for entertainment. Even if he's your man, still don't send it. Don't send it. Don't send it. And if you do send it, send your cash app first. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> they're just sending them for free, and they're breaking up the next week. Yeah, you, you send the what news for mean? free. You're, You're not, breaking up the next week. It's an even week. exchange. No. I'm sure exchange. they're getting dick pics back. I guarantee those, you they're getting dick pics back. Those have no value. You send the news what? for free, then you write a book. Obviously, that's how you do it. Look at Bundle of Britney's doing it. That's hey. how you do it. Oh, my God. I just want them to get the immediate, ex- Look at immediate the gratification Clearly on Clearly something, their, on their something f- works. I don't know. Something just works because she got They may not be able to finish the book. I just want to make sure to cash these days. Everybody's reading these days. Write a book. Okay, but send your cash app first. And if you do a video, oh my God. Like, are you working with lighting and editing? Charge him for that. That is like, I mean, people just can't get porn for free. You know what? Yes, I'm, you can. I'm hearing I mean, all this. Can. I'm hearing all this, but we've been begging for some side boob from Christopher Weeks. And if they paid for Weeks. it, they may get porn, it. Porn is cheaper than dick. Do you say the cheapest thing in the, not in the and cheaper I mean, than it's porn. cheaper than rice. You don't even have to leave your house. You don't have to even leave. You can you can just right now. I can right now we can stop recording. We can continue recording and I can pull up some porn and we can look forever. We'll get tired before we get tired of showing us. But stuff. if it's specific porn, I thought there's porn stuff you have to pay for though, right? Not anymore. Oh, no, man. Why? Yeah, oh, wow. not anymore. Why would you pay for okay. porn now? All right, not hey, anymore? All right. All right. Cheaper ladies, than dick. Ladies, make sure if he wants you. You make him pay for it. Stop you saying that. That is a, that is hoish. What you're saying they're is they're doing mm-hmm. it already. I'm not. I'm. First of all, I would never tell my daughter to do that because to she's not into money, that. To get money, she's for not. It? No, we. I'm. So why are you telling somebody else's daughter to get paid for it? Because they're already doing it. If they're already doing it, I want them to make the best. Why don't you of say what stop they doing it? They're not going to stop. I you know what stop they should them. do? Go to church and write a book and get. Then find a pastor. Go to church because pastors pay. Mm. Pastors pay a lot of money yeah, but for God damn, I can't they're, they're giving even away tithing though. Well, Black people don't know Jesus is what we really should learn from this. Okay, well, I think that we have hit a very uh we are in a very precarious place. I think Get we should just pay for your pussy. Black people don't know Jesus. What what you got, Kevin? It's gotta be one. Give me one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared now. <laughs> You said something again. I, I, like, I just I just forgot what it was. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. Right. They're out of control. Uh, Crystal's encouraging prostitution and be not honest. encouraged. You said it three times. No, now. I, I'm saying if they're already doing it, four. this girl is already doing it. Tell them what She's they should do. Already they doing do? it, so I want her to get paid. Get paid for, for it. it four times now. <laughs> get paid. Get your money. How is that wrong? How, what's What's an acceptable wage? <laughs> Well, it depends on the pussy. Is, depends on is, what you're is working with. Is it union with. rates? If you, with, if, depends on what you're working with. If you How bad roast, does he want it? If it hey, looks you know like roast beef. 2018, I'm probably, you know what? There probably is going to be a whole union. If your pussy looks like roast beef, I'm not talking about the clean roast beef. I'm talking about the dirty roast beef. You're not probably going to get very much for it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You've seen those before, right? I've seen the, I've seen the Instagram memes, but I mean, you know. Yeah, if it's I was just waiting on a taco joke. But oh no no tacos are delicious. Tacos are delicious until I'm, I'm, until they get 24, 25 years old. Then that shit goes it expires. Why did you do that? <laughs> you know it's gonna. You, why don't stop? I wonder how a twenty seven year old it makes your pussy look. It was a prediction. Making you do that. <laughs> it was a prediction. I saw it. I was like, that's so raven. I just that shit expires. I just saw it and then. Wow. And then uh, thank you for tuning like in. Like an enchilada then. God bless y'all for watching. Uh, good night. Be burrito.